guys, my name is Claire. Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. This feels really strange, but anyway, we're gonna go with it. I am a food and lifestyle content creator. I thought it would be fun to head over to YouTube and give you guys a little bit more of an in-depth look into how I host and the different events that I put on. Um, there's a lot that goes into it, so I thought it would be fun to bring you guys along with me this afternoon. I'm hosting a gingerbread making night with my friends. It's just a small thing this afternoon. It's at 4 p.m., so it's like a late afternoon thing. I'm gonna do some finger food and just some basic stuff because we're gonna be making gingerbread. I thought we're not gonna need a sit down, like plated meal. So anyway, I've got a few different errands to run today and we need to pick up some things. We need to organize the food. We need to organize the tablescape. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me and we can do the whole thing together. And then if you want to host a gingerbread making night with your friends, then you can refer to this video to help you out with some ideas. And yeah, anyway, so let's get started. First of all, though, I have to share with you, I went to this bakery near my house and picked up some focaccia. How good does that look? Like, sorry. So good. Anyway, so I didn't make the focaccia and I'm actually not doing a lot of cooking for this event, which is super unlike me. Anyway, let's go. First stop is Spotlight. Let's get sorted and we can get on with the day. Okay, so we have arrived at Spotlight. Let's go and try and find Hobby Phil and some cute tablecloth. Okay, first stop done. We've got the tablecloths. We've got the boards that I'm gonna put the gingerbread houses on so that when you're sitting down, you can actually build your gingerbread on the board that I've bought and then just pick up the board and take it with you. Um, and then we got the hobby fill, which I'm putting in the middle of the table to make it look like snow, which will be really cute. Next stop is Kmart and Target. I just went to Kmart and I got the cutest stuff. Kmart have the cutest tableware stuff. Their Christmas decorations, not so good. I would go to Target over Kmart, but the tableware, very cute. So I'll give you like a haul when I get home, but um, yeah. I've just gotten back and I've gotten everything. And I thought that I'd show you everything that I bought for the table. I'm really excited, but went to Spotlight and went to Kmart got this little bowl from Kmart to put the lollies in. How cute is it? This is pink pedestal bowl, love. Then I got this table runner. I've been seeing this all over TikTok, so I thought I'd just grab one before they sell out. And I got a tablecloth, pink tablecloth from Spotlight and some hobby fill for the fake snow that will be on the table. Also, I went to Target a few weeks ago and I got some things, so I'll show you them as well because they'll be on the table today. I got these LED mushroom lights. So cute from Target. Can't remember how much they were, but it was all really cheap. I got the Christmas bonbons for today as well. Can't have a Christmas themed dinner party without bonbons. These are so cute. And I got these scalloped little trays they're just like small trays for filling with either dips or lollies to decorate your gingerbread houses in and these candles as well two candles just pink i thought they were cute so the vibe is definitely pink for today another tip is that any candle holders that you have around your house or that are running out i actually have repurposed some old candle things that i can fill them with like must sticks and lollies and all sorts of things for the night so Another tip, another good tip. I'm just stacking on some watermelon before I have to go and do the grocery shop. Another little tip that I wanted to chat to you guys about is opening a Google Drive for your events. For every event that I have ever hosted, I always have a Google Drive that I create pretty much as soon as the idea comes into my head. And in that Google Drive, I put in 
the guests, the food, any decorations I might need, my to-do list for the night. And I just sort of plan it out and I can see it all written down. And then I will write to-do list the week before, the day before, the day of, and everything's sort of structured in there for me. And that is including the food and any decorations, everything that I need for the night goes into that board and well sorry goes into the document and I can see it all written there so it just makes your night and your day so much easier and it makes a preparation for your day a breeze so you can be calm and you can have a great time and you can enjoy it so that is another one of my tips I'm gonna go grocery shopping now so that I can just like be at home and not have to worry about having to leave the house and I can set up do the food, make everything nice. Okay, so the grocery shop is done. I need to go to Woolies to grab some lollies and stuff to design the gingerbread houses with, but I got all my cheeses and meats and dips from Woolworths Metro because I love their selection of cheeses and things. So that's why we went there. And then I'm gonna go home and have some lunch. I got some sushi and then we'll go and get the lollies. Now I can get ready to set the table after lunch. Yum. So I picked up some lollies for decorating and now I'm going to set the table. So let's get started. Now what I'm gonna do is unpack the gingerbread. Each person has their icing and their gingerbread house on their board. So let's, let's do it. These gingerbread houses, can I just say they're from Coles and they are amazing. Look how cool they are. And they come with their own icing. They had a little board that they come with as well and some lollies. So I think they were like $15, $20. So go and check them out, they're awesome. Um, but we've got lollies here for decorating. How cute are those little mushroom lights? And of course, some candy canes. Everyone has their own cotton on pajamas on the back of their chair. So when they get here, they can get changed. And they also have a little necklace as a little party favor. And yeah, I'm so excited. So now the kitchen's a mess. I need to clean up and people will be arriving soon so let's get sorted and clean this mess and then get myself ready so the table is set and everything is good to go and now i'm just getting ready myself i'm just got you guys propped up in the bathroom while i do my makeup but i hope that this video was informative and i hope that you enjoyed it and hope that it brought some inspiration for your own dinner parties that you might host over the christmas season um, I'm going to share a little bit with you when everyone arrives, but, um, for now I'll just sort of like say goodbye here. Yeah. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see, if there's any questions that you had, I'm so excited and I've been excited to host this sort of night for such a long time now. For me, this is sort of a smaller night. I'm not really having that many people over. I'm not cooking. So this was a much easier night to host but i would be so open to and if you guys want to see it i would love to share with you my bigger events where i do a lot more cooking and preparation for the day mm -hmm.